We're here at the Sci Foundation Actor Center. Yes. And we're in this conference room here, and it's an amazing resource. And do you want to tell us more? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was Taft Heart lead into SAG in 2004. Um, that was actually through Robot Chicken, so that was just like mind blowing. And I joined SAG, first chance I got, the spring of 2005. And one of the first things I wanted to know was, well, what is SAG about? You know, you hear a lot of actors that don't really know what SAG does other than the fact that, yes, they help you with contracts and they help you get better pay and they're better projects. But a lot of times you hear people whining about the dues or things like that, initiation fee, like, well, what else do we get? And the truth is, is that there's a lot. Um, I mean, SAG itself has a ton of programs that you can reach out to and look for, but where we're at right now is the SAG Foundation, which is a nonprofit. Um, so none of your SAG dues goes to this charity. It's a nonprofit foundation and you donate, and so all the money is from private donors. Um, or, you know, you can check when you get your dues, you can check to have a portion go here. Um, and I saw an opportunity to volunteer. So I first started off, they have a program called Book Pals, and you can volunteer and be a reader that goes around and reads to kids at schools. Um, there's a, you come for one orientation, you know, to be a book pal, and I'm, I'm not sure who's running the program right now. It's changed hands over a few years, but they'll coordinate what schools are in need. And so my first couple years in SAG, I was doing all of their special events. I was one of the hosts in the rotation that they were sending to special events, and I hosted a program at the Grove, um, just called Book Pals at the Grove. <laughs> and, uh, it was a monthly thing outside on the lawn with the waterfall, and the first time I went, I thought I was gonna be sitting there reading to like five kids on the lawn. And I get there, and there's a PA system set up, and there's like, 50 kids and their parents and it was it was a big production um, and we had like special celebrities come down from time to time and um, I've just gotten so many opportunities presented to myself from giving to organizations like SAG Foundation um, so there's book pals which is something you can volunteer but then as far as things they provide to actors there's the conversation series there's the casting access program and there's life raft each three are different tailored events um, uh, celebrity speaking, workshops, um, premieres and screenings, they're all free. Um, usually you can bring a guest, sometimes there's a restriction and you can't, but you do have to be a member um, of SAG to do it. Now with the merger of SAG after, I'm not sure how the SAG Foundation is operating because that's a little bit separate, so I'd have to clarify that. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming it's, you know, well, everybody's SAG after now, so um, all members. And then where we are right now is um, the Resource Center, which was just created about a year and a half ago, and it was all done through donations. And they opened up about a year and a half, it might be two years now, and obviously we're in a conference room that any actor can reserve for anything, whether they have to do a taping, whether they're doing an interview, um, rehearsal, script reading uh, for free. And there's also six computers available for free, um, free wireless if you bring your laptop, printer. There's also now the Don LaFontaine voiceover lab where you can actually go in and like work on your voiceover demo, record auditions, and it's all free for union members. You just have to call and reserve, check in. It's it's amazing. Um, and then within the foundation, there's more opportunities to volunteer at all of those events that I just mentioned. So a lot of times, I would be the girl doing the check-in at those events, you know, and you know, next thing you know, um, it was Mel Gibson that was in The Wrestler, right? No, not Mel Gibson. Who's The Wrestler guy? Who's in The Wrestler? Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke, Mel Gibson. When I come up with Mel Gibson, Mickey Rourke. Next thing you know, you're walking Mickey Rourke like up to the stage, you know, and you're like, hey, nice job, you know? Um, and I, I've just found the people here at the Psych Foundation to be just so grateful for the help. They have pizza parties all the time and volunteer appreciation days and you get invited to special events. And so if, if you're a member of the union, um, you should definitely check out all the things that there are for you to give back. And then, you know, in turn, you always receive more than you give out. At least that's, that's the plan, right? That's what we hope. Well, can you give examples of sometimes you volunteered and how mm -hmm. it turned into something? Um, well, back to the hosting stuff. Um, I volunteered to do the book pals hosting. And I don't know, maybe it was a year down the line. Apparently, the city of Los Angeles called <laughs> SAG Foundation and they wanted an A list actress to host an event. Somehow, they got my name. <laughs> And I co-hosted the Los Angeles Emergency Preparedness Fair 
with the fire chief of Los Angeles. They held it over in this park over here. Target was a sponsor. Um, you know, I, I got all kinds of gas gift cards and stuff. And it was just, it was an amazing day, you know, co-hosting with the chief, the fire chief. You know? yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, um, and then there's also been, um, you know, like red carpet premieres and things like that. I got to go to um, the Running with Scissors red carpet premiere, where I got to go up and introduce myself to Annette Benning and Warren Beatty and tell them, like, what an amazing... I'm Sometimes I am just so ballsy sometimes, and other times I'm not, but I literally had... I, I spotted them, I had my business card in my hand, and I just went up to them and, you know, said, you did a wonderful job, introduced myself, they were receptive, and I said, could I give you my business card, maybe we'll work together someday, and... It might have ended up in the trash can, who knows, but yeah, but that came through being a volunteer at Psych Foundation. It was a gift to go to the uh, premiere.